And West Falls are going Fox. Ooh. So I'm gonna assume West Falls is the extra technical one and that he loves red, so I, I think West Falls and Sung are the red and Connor and MacD are blue. Uh, it's kinda weird we don't see any Peach. Um, MacD has been kinda going Falco. Thinks his Falco is good. And as we say that, <laughs> he flutter hushes off to the side. That's not bad, actually. Alright, pretty even match, actually. Um, it looks like it's going to tie up. Not really sure what's going on. That'd be really funny if I actually thought that colors were wrong, because I saw a really janky F smash from the Red Falco, and that I was like, my MACD loves to jankly F smash. Alright, I don't even know what's going on. Ooh, good Firefox, but he gets Shine Spiked. In those cases, you know, I would rather just have the Falco die, because uh, the Falco is at already 100%. Pretty much got the most value out of his stock, and when you go for a save like that against a better team, they're most likely going to punish you. And in that, that was a huge swing where the blue Fox ended up dying at a really early percent. I mean, if the Fox is, I mean, if your partner's low, then you get more value because if you save them, then it's almost a full stock. But when your partner's at 130 and you're putting that much risk, it's not really worth it. Alright, Red Fox died. I don't know quite how. It's kind of chaotic. I feel like Red Team should be winning by more, but they aren't. Let's see. Oh, another failed uh, ledge dash. So, whoever the blue Falco is, I'm assuming is MACD, um, has to figure this out. Wait, who's who? Well, West Bulls doesn't have is West Bulls isn't pressing any buttons. So, okay, so West Bulls and West Bulls and Sun are the blue team, actually. So I was wrong. Okay. So yes, the Falco throwing out the F smashes was interesting. Okay, so my mistake: Connor and MacD are red, and Sung and West Bulls are blue. Seems a little bit unusual because West Bulls typically goes red. So balls, okay, now it's like distinguishable. Kind of reminds me of that one time that a Scar thought I was the Sheik that was losing against Deb. <laughs> you guys should check out that video, it's pretty funny. All right, double Falco. Um, I do think Wes is, although Wes likes to go Fox in teams, I think his Falco is a lot stronger. It's kind of one of those things where you main a character, you know a lot more about the, the interactions and like, and when you p watch a player play like a secondary, yeah, they like understand the basic game plan of it, but ooh, that was really nice. Was that Mac D actually doing that? That's kind of weird that Mac D actually got that. Uh, I have, other than the fact that it was a weak downer hit, I have to say I, I give that some decent amount of respect. Janky combo shine into forward smash, kind of funny. A uh, good edge guard. Clean. I don't know what to make of Double Falco as a team. It's it's an alright team in the fact that lasers are kind of oppressive and you get um, team recovery is like that. Uh, finally, the red team gets a kill out of it. It was a little bit more of a struggle than it probably should have been, but that might be because of Falco's lasers. The one weakness of Falco, though, is that he can go in and misapproach and then die for it. Okay, the lead just got significant. <laughs> MacD, another SD. But, like, let's say you have a minor lead against, like, I don't know, Puff Peach or Sheik Peach. If you just go in and approach poorly, you can just insta die, so it's, like, really high variance. And. What the hell is going on with MacD? So, 
I'm gonna say the LVP of this is definitely MACD. I don't know what happened. I don't know what Connor's doing. I think he's kind of just fishing for like a run and shine reading a laser. Ooh, Connor's moving. Oh no. Is this done? Is this done? Oh, Ooh, a weak hit. Good ledge tech. Oh my gosh, Santi. Sheik's, uh, Sheik has such a good edge guard on Fal Falco. Backer and Nair are so good. I do think there's timing windows to cover the short and the full one, too, as Sheik. Like, you can jab the ledge. Then again, the team with two Falcos is beating the team with one Falco, so maybe Santi's on to something. <laughs> Yo Yo is number one. Alrighty. So, larger stage, I hope maybe they're thinking that they can use the platforms to move out of lasers. gonna be fun. So Connor, uh, Mike in general likes to just play fun for fun at locals. So that's why we see the Falco instead of his trademark peach. Alright, the lasers are putting in a lot of work to prevent the edge guards. So I guess what I would do, I would change up the strategy on edge guard, because like if you're over waiting for like a Falcon's recovery and you're getting laser from behind, I think I would just rather go for the 2v1 on the Falco that's on stage and see what I can get off of that because the edge guards are actually hurting them a lot. Ooh, and Mackie dies again at seven. Oh, that's... that sucks. Um, I think Wes could have probably gone that edge guard without SCing, but he secured the kill there, and it's a good trade because now you force a 1v2. But they were probably going to win no matter what. Alright, they go to Dreamland again, and we see the Peach now. We'll see what happens here. The thing about Falco is that he can rack up a lot of damage quick, so like that 0 to 70% um, is really good for Falco. The issue is, um, some of the things of like where like Fox is I think a bit better than Falco is that if your partner gets a grab as Fox, like you can just up smash KO. Um, Falco doesn't really have as fast of a direct kill setup and it usually doesn't have as much knockback, so that's why I don't really like Falco in many situations. I like Falco when like he's paired with a person with a lot of kill moves, and I think that's what's really strong because uh, Falco can you know control zone, rack up a lot of quick damage, and then you use the other guy to get the kills. But as I say this, uh, Westfalls and Sung are putting in a lot of work. Uh, they look really comfortable right now. Ooh, that was a really good up tilt by Westfalls to react to Neki getting hit into him. Um, to be perfectly honest, um, you know, I understand that that at Yoshi's you can get the Shine KOs, but it's teams it's really hard to set up. I, I don't know why they didn't go Yoshi's. I, I think uh, Peach is phenomenal in their teams. Ooh. Okay, what well, was a big lead is now about like a half a stock lead because of that random SD. Alright. 
very righties. What is going on here? It's chaos. Um, Les and Sung are doing an amazing job of like not really getting opened up. Lasers are really good right now. And they're not getting hit. Alrighty. Yeah. It seems like a Connor Mackey never really hit any sort of rhythm here. Ooh. Almost think that shine wasn't necessary, but we'll, we'll take those. Uh, let's see if they can find a lead anywhere here. Sun's playing really well for a person that's not really, uh, you know, played for a while. He, lo he looks pretty good. Uh, Les Ball's, you know, playing up to the level we would expect from him right now. Alright, this is gonna be like the next the next 15 seconds are like really important. Alright, West Ball's really good recovery there. Alright. Is Connor gonna die first? Oh, that was a mess up. The jab went the wrong way. Oh no. And West Ball's dies first. Okay, Sung needs to live here. Okay, this is gonna be like really close. Now it's one of those situations that even Connor's gonna have to survive and he gets back aired. Um, he, he's gonna live, I think. No, really good ledge grab there. So now we got 2v1. So MACD is gonna have to read these full hops because they're not gonna go and try to fight MACD on the ground unless they find a direct opening. Ooh. It's still doable. Oh, what? And he recovers. Another missed down smash. Outspacing the Nair. Okay. Let's see if we can find an opening with a turn up. Wesson Wes and Sun playing really safe, really smart. MACD probably has one or two more back airs in him. Maybe one. Ooh, bad roll. And he gets caught. It's over. 